Here we go, folks. Taldorum Alter LE is the place to be for this matchup. Ladies and gentlemen, I bring you game two of this best of three series with Murs currently up 1-0. And this is Deranging. He is in the red trunks. He's playing Zerg to the southeast of the Talder Malta versus his opponent from Team Dignitas. It is Murs. He is in the yellow trunks and he is playing Terran to the northwest. And Deranging, you know, he can go hatch first because he knows he has to get an advantage some way. Because he knows Murs is a better player. He has to try to get an economic advantage. So I wouldn't be surprised if he tried to go hatch first again. But when you know that you're playing against a Grandmaster League player and he is going to go two racks against you, obviously you don't know that's going to happen, but now he does know there's a possibility again that you shouldn't really be doing that. You shouldn't be going hatch first because you do put yourself at risk because your drone micro and link micro has to be up to notch. It has to be the same level as Merz's marine micro. Otherwise, we see what we just saw, you know, fast game. Um, so I wouldn't be surprised if he threw down a spawning pool a little bit earlier. Durangio requiring a pause by the looks of it. Yeah, but I wouldn't we, be, like yeah. I was saying, I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if he did throw down a spawning pool earlier because, I mean, like Destiny, for example. Destiny, he has this build against Protoss and um, Terran as well where you got 11 spawning pool. 11 spawning pool, 18 hatchery is his pretty much standard build. Yep. The reason why you do that is 11 spawning pool is so early that by the time that SUV starts even building the bunker, you have six lings out and immediately shut down any aggression. Yep. Yep, it's a good way to do things, and it's interesting to see these uh, continuing to experiment with different variations on pool. I remember a time when anything before 14 spawning pool was considered cheese. <laughs> Lots of different variation. Indeed. We'll see what Durangian decides to do right here. Will he risk that first? I mean, he is as far away from his opponent as humanly possible. And Merz is looking in a more defensive posture right now, looking for the immediate wall off. So he could go hatch first here. There's no doubt about that. And we'll find out very shortly if he decides to do that. It looks like he will be doing that unless it's very late on his ball. No, he is going to do it. And Merz is just going to play to the map, uh, which is a great kind of style to have. You just play to the map you're on. Uh, and instead of going to Rex, because it's such a large map, it's going to take a very long time for Marines to get anywhere. Uh, so he's just going to go ahead and get a refinery up, go into Reactor Hellion from here, uh, and abuse the speed of these Hellions to get around, zip around the map a lot faster, uh, followed up by a very fast command center. And then look for probably a timing push with some tanks, though. The advantage that Deranging has on this map, it is cross position. It is a large map. He has a lot of reaction time compared to normal. Uh, and so that will help him a lot. Meanwhile, we have exactly the same build out from Deranging. 15 hatchery, 14 spawning pool, and then the 17 extractor to get that speed upgrade ASAP. Yep, get it sorted as quickly as possible. Merz is only on about 500 APM at the minute, so yeah, he's just warming up in the morning. He's warming up. It's quite cold in those boxes, actually. I went up to the Dignitas box yesterday, and it is so cold in there. It's pleasant compared to Newbury. It was a blinking oven the last time around. I can tell you that for a fact. <laughs> Ranging with the spawning pool right there to follow that one up. Extractor is already on the way. Nice safe start from him, and Mer's not really showing any early game aggression with Marines or anything like that, because as you said, he's without question going to be going for that reactor helium play, and there is the reactor coming down the bags for the swap. And that is, once again, going to be a bit tricky for Derangy to deal with, but he's got to be expecting that on this map. It's so common. Yeah, I mean, he, the thing is with Zerg, you can't really expect anything. You can just make kind of make assumptions of what he can do. Uh, and the way you should be playing is through process of elimination. Uh, I mean, uh, right now, it's going to be very, very difficult because he didn't send out a drone scam, which is a bit of a personal mistake of his. It is also uh, a kind of a personal style, too. A lot of Zerg players don't do that, and they just use Lings on Zelnogatau to scout what's going on. The problem with that is you don't know what is going on behind these doors. Uh, and these two Marines are holding those doors shut quite tight. And uh, as we do see now, the React has been switched over for Hellions. The expansion has gone down for Murs now as well. And uh, he is going to be able to scout out this command center with this single Ling that is going up there. And uh, he will now see that, all right, the timing of that command center. You've got Hellions as well uh, behind this. It's not a one Rax Expo or something like that. Yeah, he'll have to try and harass this, which of course is going to draw either some Hellions or Marines out of position. That'll be useful information for Derejic to have. He sees a pair of Hellions, so he's got to assume that there's a reactor on that, and we'll look to shut that down. Needs to, of course, get his speed upgrade up, which is well on the way, and a spine crawler at the front to try and deal with that. The Hellions already over 
and that could be a little bit problematic initially and some damage could be done there are at least two queens at the front and there's three queens in total from deranging right there so he should be able to push this back but some damage may be done if Merz gets in there and uh, the spine crawler and two queens is pretty safe against these uh, hellions it's going to be quite difficult for them to run by because hell these queens are quite fatty they will be able to block them off uh, and, and kind of make it very difficult and spine crawl get maximum damage really so i doubt Merz will try to run by he will just sit on the edge of creep killing creep tumors Keeping and making sure he does have that map control. Uh, and look at this, the follow-up from Merz here. You have a couple of follow-ups, to be honest. You can go into a stim timing attack, uh, followed by tanks and so on. Or you can kind of go into Banshee. Uh, and the Hellions almost force you to go into Roaches sometimes, if you feel really threatened. Because right now, Deranging, looking at his vision, sees absolutely nothing. This could be Blue Flame Hellion. It could be uh, two factory react uh, reactor Hellions uh, is another viable strategy. Well, now the spine crawl is down, though, he might just run in. Oh, yeah, and he possibly cut up. There's actually three queens at the front right now, so he's saying absolutely not. There's four queens still right here for deranging. He's going really heavy into that, and I, you know, I kind of like that. Having a lot of queens is really cool. Merz, on the other hand, is going for this classic 1-1-1 build, and he's continually swapping around, keeping his opponent guessing and adapting. And look how nervous deranging is. He's got a That's thousand a minerals at the wow. point of the game. His, uh, his extractors are very, very late here. You know, he's taken a macro hatch because of it. Uh, and that's a, you know, like I said, a classic mistake. Meanwhile, Merz has got a single Banshee now and is going to switch over back into the factory. It's just going to go for one Banshee to force an overreaction. More Queens, Spore Crawlers. Maybe, a, you know, go for a faster layer and go for an Overseer. Just kind of panic this, like I said, a nervous 17-year-old. Meanwhile, fo going to follow this up with a very, very strong timing attack with Stim uh, and two tanks behind it. Meanwhile, Deranger now has not even got an evolution chamber, and as soon as he sees his Banshee, he will immediately throw it down. Yeah, he will. He's going for Lair Tech, say, a couple of hatcheries, taking his third there, and it's, it's going to be a little bit risky. Here comes that Banshee. Cloak is not available. I mean, Deranger does have a lot of queens. He could push this back without too much of a problem, really, especially considering Cloak isn't there. And in the meantime, Deranger looking perhaps to do a run by. He could do damage with this, actually. There is a vulnerability. If he goes around the corner, he could slide his way in there. And uh, four Hellions do now get trapped off, and uh, Lings as well, as you pointed out, on the natural of Merz. Really nice play from both players now, uh, and Deranged getting the better hand of this. Yeah, Deranging with a nice run by, doing some economic damage, and as he said, shutting down the Hellions in the corner. And he's going to get all the way to the base. He's going to see absolutely everything, which will be very useful information to have. See, nibbling at Merz right there, who isn't even pulling off. And uh, we can see how much damage is done, and Deranged actually gets five work kills out of that, so that is not a bad start at all. He gets four three, well, four, three, excuse my English, three Hellions, and then we have a lot of, well, five SCV kills, and then scanning information. That was more than worth it. The problem is, is Banshee's still doing a lot of damage, up to five kills equally now. So the drone count versus SCV, they both lost the same amount of SCVs in yeah. that trade. Uh, though, the advantage does come for deranging, though. He does know exactly what's going on. Doesn't need to overreact with spore crawlers, with overseers, with queens. Uh, he needs to be careful, though, because these queens are not lava injecting. You know, he's pulled them off to defend against um, this yeah. Banshee, but he's not lava injecting. The Spire is on its way. The Spire can be in danger, could force a cancellation out of it now for this Banshee. Yeah, you were talking about the idea of overreacting, and that's exactly what he did. He pushed all four queens into the natural and didn't defend the main. And now that Banshee is going to... This is show style right here with the Banshee. He's going for 12 kills, going to take 13. He needs to get out right now, otherwise he will die. But I would think Merz has got the Banshee control to get out of there. 13 kills on that Banshee. It lives to fight another day. Yeah, excellent play now from Merz here. Really maximizing damage from this Banshee. And uh, it may go down here if he doesn't control it properly to this one queen, but Merz does see that. Meanwhile, he's just going to go kill these rocks and then I'm sure he's going to uh, kind of push out from this. I mean, plus one attack is now 50% complete and as soon as that completes, he will kill the rocks, go out on attack and expand behind this. And indeed, why would you not? It's as simple as that. Merz is going to be looking really solid at the minute. So is Derangings. I mean, he's up to 72 drones. You were talking about the idea of... Uh when it's okay to build drones. Derangy, I think, is building drones at the right time. Wants to get up to that critical amount so that his economy is in an amazing state. And then, of course, he'll build nothing but units and try and reach that cap. Merz is still ahead in terms of supply. At least he was. There's now nine Mutalisks and the plus one upgrade coming out for Derangy, who will start to look to take air control and start to put Merz under pressure, harass, prevent his expansions, get map control, all sorts of great things like that. He can do it. Most does have a really good marine count, I have to say, and has a lot of upgrades coming for them as well. So it's got to come down to how good is Deranging's muter control. Another yeah. three being added onto there too. That's actually, you hit the nail right there. 
Uh, I mean, deranging is really getting into a comfortable rhythm now, and that's what you need to do once you're well when you're a nervous player like this. You need to get back into that comfortable position you're in when you're at home, uh, and that's what he's up to now. He's getting the drone count up. The unit count is skyrocketing now for uh, for deranging. He's even overtaken Murs in the supply lead. Uh, and he's taken a fourth base as well. It is going to get denied from this Banshee though, uh, but at the same time, he's going to be able to put pressure onto this third base. The Mutalists are on track, but the biggest thing you said there was how good is his Mutalist control under pressure? We're about to find out, and it was a good, good move there by Deranger to go in first. He's going to be able to cancel both of these missile turrets if he's quick enough, and it looks like he is. Now, there's a big stim right there by Murs, but Deranger is already out of there with bare minimal losses. A good little bit of harassment. Let's see if he can follow that up. And the hatchery, is it going to be cancelled? Is it going to go down? The Banshee is knocking on that door, and it is cancelled. Excellent yep. play there from Deranging. But he's going to be difficult for him to take a fourth base with this Banshee out, unless he pulls his Mutes to go and kill it, which he should automatically He just sent one doing. over. There you go. Nicely. Look at that. Extracted trick to actually save the Very drone nice. Deranging is actually there. playing really well at the minute. You've got to give him credit for that. But what he doesn't know, uh, the, the only problem that he has not done yet is he's got map control, but he hasn't taken the Zelnaga Towers. 101 mistake. And now this Medivac's going to come down and drop eight Marines, and that will cancel that hatchery. Yes, it will. Things. Do, I mean, Durandi does have Zerglings. Unfortunately, he is going in the wrong direction. Now he sees it. He'll try to move to respond to that. Murs starting to apply the pressure. Will the hatchery go down? It's looking like probably will. Murs, I wouldn't imagine, will stim. Sending it two muters is suicidal. Doesn't want to do that. I would suggest that he cancels. He wants to save it. And you know what? He might be able to. That's a lot of Zerglings coming in right there. Trying to beat their way through. And he saves it. Nicely cleaned up there by Durandi. And uh, we do have this timing attack now for Murs. He's got all these tanks out. Plus two. Uh, infantry weapons is on its way now, and he can easily push towards that uh, base. And the style deranging is playing as the new Zerg style, where it's very upgrade heavy, very mutilisk heavy. And we, we, as you can see, we don't have a bailing nest here. No, we uh, don't. And it's going to be very difficult against these Marines because literally you need a, such a high upgrade count to deal with these uh, Marines. He's only at plus one attack now for these mutilists. The lings are not oh, upgraded, zero, zero, yeah. zero. So. And the Marines now at 2-1, just about a big. So dealing with these Marines is going to be at the most so impossible. Yep, and he can actually do some real damage to this mineral line right here. Murs does not have a defense in those bunkers. If he swarms right, I wouldn't attack the bunkers right now. I'd actually go straight for the mineral line, but indeed prevent his opponent from getting inside those bunkers. He's able to do some damage, but as you said, heavily upgraded Marines. In come the Mutants from the flank right now to strike at it, and this base is actually in real trouble. In the meantime, Murs pushing towards the fourth of deranging, and by the looks of it, we'll be able to take that down without too much resistance. But that is a big mineral line that is taking a huge amount of damage, and deranging smashing his way through there with a very large meter count. This is something that Murs doesn't know about deranging. He loves the base trade. If he has the opportunity to do so, he will do it. Uh, and this is one of his kind of weird, unique things uh, that he does all the time. And that's what we're seeing here. Yeah, and it's looking good. More links on the way as well. If he cleans up the tanks, he gets the links in there. This could end a big GG at this point in time. And smashing his way through Murs's defenses. And Murs in the meantime, rushing forward with everything he's got. But the thing is, Durandi can afford this, and he's got really great static defense already. The Muta's smashing up everything for Murs, and his defenses have completely failed. And now it's going to come down to a base trade. Indeed, and that's how Durandi likes to play, and he's taken so many games off good players because of this on the ladder uh, and in online tournaments, just because of this weird little base trade he does. Uh, he does, he, well, he has pulled drones as well, as you see on the right-hand side of this map, and he's going to expand and place hatcheries around the map to try and base race against Murs. He's got the upper hand though, but Murs is trying or starting to stabilize inside his main base. These medivacs are going to heal up these marines over time, and 2-2 two is about to finish. At the end of the day, though, look at the unit tab, 23 mutilists and 56 slings. If he can uh, keep the losses to as minimal as possible with his units, deranging that is, he can and eventually will be able to fight Murs head on. Yeah, I would think he will, and he just needs to avoid losing a bunch of muters at this point in time. Not like that, no! Deranging throws it away, and that is really unfortunate. He lost a ton of muters for no real reason right there, and that might seal his fate, unfortunately, because Murs still has a very functional fighting force inside the main of Deranging. Oh, 25 mutilists down to eight. Oh, that is so painful. And these Marines at 2-2 are making light work of these Zerglings with that Medi back up. And oh my god, that well, that trade was so bad for deranging. He just threw it away, honestly. He really, really did. He may still be able to do this, but I'm seeing it very, very unlikely. So unfortunate. That timing there, he knows he throws it away. The timing there was particularly poor. He sent the Zerglings in and then sent the Mutants in too late. The Zerglings were already wiped up by that point. And now Murs can just continue to annihilate his opponent's base. There's little left from deranging here. 
so unfortunate, so close to taking a game from one of the favorites in this tournament and just a, a small error is what causes him to fail. Yeah, I mean, it's not completely over yet, but I'm pretty sure it is. It's like 95% over for deranging now. He can't fight the, the sports. Is, yeah, the unit tab, you have six mutalists and five zerglings against 41 2 2 marines it's not gonna happen. Uh, and five tanks. So, GG. You know, you can't do it. GG, there you so. go. A well played by deranging. An unfortunate bit of poor decision yep. making at the end cost him that game. I think he could.